Hello everybody, in this uh, video I am ripping out the old sidewalk. So basically I have a feeling that the previous owner bought like a pallet load of these little retaining wall blocks and he must have gotten a great deal on them because they were literally everywhere in this yard. They formed this border that I'm currently pulling out in the video and that runs the entire length of the house. They were just kind of scattered all over the backyard as well. He must have gotten a killer deal on these things and was just like, well, I bought them all. Now I need to figure out some place to put them. So uh, sure, I'll put them here and um, I'll put them over there. And uh, why not throw a couple here and we'll put some more over here. Some of these blocks were like completely buried in the ground. Actually, some were. I was digging a hole at one point for a fire pit. And I run into a buried wall. Like, there were just hundreds of these. So here I am just pulling them out from alongside the house. I get what the idea was. They wanted to raise the dirt so the water wouldn't come into the basement. But the sidewalk still sloped towards the house. So it really didn't help things at all. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out on camera. But uh, I got one sidewalk square knocked out. Uh, a lot of digging, you can see right over on that side, I dug a trench, used that chunk of wood as a lever with some patio blocks, flipped it up, took a sledgehammer to the one end of it, there's some of the rubble from it, because as I was lifting it, this block right here was lifting up with it, which is the same problem I'm having now with the second block, so I excavated under it, used my lever again, little stack of blocks there to hold it in place. And now the seam, which I think's right there, um, they seem to be stuck together. So I'm just going to smash everything up with a sledgehammer, I think. Uh, originally I was going to save these blocks, but I don't have any idea what I would ever use them for. So I'm probably just going to use them as backfill to fill in the hole here and then cover it with dirt because I have to regrade. Right now the sidewalk's kind of sloped towards the house and I want to pull everything up to about the height that the dirt's pulled there. So i got to put some window wells in and stuff. Uh, not sure, not sure what I'm doing about that, but, uh, we'll figure that out when we come to it. So let's get on to some smashing. Nobody tell me in the comments that I should be wearing safety glasses or a shirt. Safety's for wusses. Just gonna have some fun here. It's about all I can smash, because this is sitting on solid material, so I'll have to pull out these chunks. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by myself. Um, yeah, pretty much just have to regrade the entire thing, which this video is getting edited like three months after this was actually filmed. So it's already all regraded and there's grass seed planted and it, it looks pretty nice. But yeah, this was just loads of fun. I so enjoyed myself smashing up tons of sidewalk blocks. Like, ingenuity comes in handy, you know, smashing them into smaller pieces, putting a little something under it to hold it up. I mean, it was a good idea. Uh, now, unfortunately, I have, and you can't really see it in this video, but on the right-hand side where I'm throwing everything, it's kind of like the edge between the, it's not really a driveway, but it's this big patio section that I park my car on and the lawn. I just have this giant wall of smashed up sidewalk pieces. I don't know how to get rid of them. Like, I can't just put them on the curb because the garbage men won't pick them up. Uh, in my village, the garbage men have one of the trucks that has the arm that actually grabs the trash can and just lifts it and dumps it. So they don't pick up anything from the curb. It has to be in the garbage can. So, I mean, I could, like, put one or two of these blocks in there a week and slowly get rid of them that way. But I don't really think they want you throwing out chunks of concrete. So, I don't know. And it's it's so much weight that I'd hate to load it all up into my PT Cruiser and then drive someplace and unload it, like to a dump or something. So, I don't know. I'm At some point, I'll probably get like a, a dumpster or waste management does this thing called bagsters, which are like giant canvas dumpsters almost. But I don't know if they pick up in my area. So, I'd have to look into that. But I'm going to have more construction debris more so than just this concrete stuff. So I'm kind of waiting till I 
done with ripping stuff apart. And then I'll look into some options as far as how to get rid of this stuff because I'm never going to use these blocks. And I did use some small ones for backfill, like right there. But all the big pieces are really kind of too big. So that's pretty much it. Just this whole process was just repeated over and over and over until I had the whole sidewalk pulled out. And then I filled it up with dirt and planted grass seed.